You know what? That brings up a fucking... Oh, that brings up something that really chaps my ass, grinds my gears, makes my balls itch, okay? And here it is. All you motherfuckers who want to become an athlete, because we're all athletes, right? And all you fucking crossfitters and powerlifters and strength athletes. You're not athletes, okay? You don't fucking get paid. I'm not a fucking athlete. I play around with powerlifting and strongman, okay? Anyway, you're a fucking beginner. Okay, and you hire some online fucking coach who sends you some goddamn template program that's probably designed for someone with a couple years of experience, maybe done a couple competitions. They probably have a decent amount of muscle mass to work with. They've built a bit of a foundation, okay? But you're a fucking beginner, all right? You spend a lot of time online reading fucking blog posts and watching your favorite elite level power lifter on Instagram and you get all the same fucking gear. You got these dope knee sleeves and this fucking belt and you know all about the specific barbells and competition calibrated plates that are used in the specific federation you plan to compete in and your program probably consists of like sets of one to three to five fucking reps and he's probably asking you to monitor your training using RPE which is uh, recorded perceived exertion for those of you who don't know it's basically um, on a scale from one to ten how challenging you feel the set was ten being your head was going to explode one being very easy let me tell you something and this is just my opinion so it doesn't count for shit so don't even fucking listen but I'm going to say it anyway. None of that shit fucking matters to you. At all. God damn it. What the fuck? You want to fucking make sure you're using a kabuki strength squat bar that doesn't flex or bend so you can practice your 200 pound fucking back squat. Are you fucking kidding me? You want to use calibrated plates to make sure the weight is accurate down to the fucking ounce for your RPE 8 2 rep max attempt? Give me a fucking break. Let me tell you why that's so fucking stupid. Number one, okay? You don't know what a RPE 10 fucking feels like. What you think is a 10 is probably really a fucking 3. Because you haven't fucking trained your ass off. If you did, you have fucking muscle mass and your fucking body fat would be low enough for you to be able to handle high rep fucking sets. You don't do sets of one or two or three. You do sets of eight, 10, 12, and fucking 20. You got me? And it's gonna fucking burn, but it's gonna build a foundation of muscle mass for you to then apply the central nervous system adaptation of strength training. Why are you trying to create a central nervous system adaptation that's connected to muscles that aren't fucking there? That would be like showing up to a quarter mile and trying to cover that distance in less than 10 seconds on a fucking tricycle. There's no fucking point. You need to create and build the vehicle to take you to the destination. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Shit, man. I understand you want to learn and do what the best in the world are doing because they're the best in the world. But the guys and girls that are the best in the world put fucking three, four, five, six, ten, twenty years in of fucking grinding and building muscle and putting in that work to build the foundation that they then build strength upon. And guess what? After a meet, they go back. They go back and they do high volume and they build muscle, then they go back to strength. I think. And here's why all you spoiled fucks <laughs> are just so foolish when you want to use all the top of the line high-end equipment. The reason why I have a thousand dollars of goofy strength competition squat bar is because when you get above 500 pounds, and you can fucking move it with speed. Even a $400 power bar with 300,000 pounds of tentile strength and no whip 
flexes and bends, all right? And when you have five, six, 700 pounds on your back, you fucking feel it. You don't fucking feel it when you're squatting 255, okay? You're not gonna feel any difference if you're squatting with a $15 bar from fucking dicks or a $1,000 squat bar. You don't feel a difference, it doesn't fucking matter, okay? Calibrated plates, you wanna know why calibrated plates are valuable? This might take a second, okay? But the majority of steel plates at the gyms are within 5% accuracy above or below, okay? So 5%, all right? All my Yorks, every plate in this fucking gym is within 2.5% because they're more expensive because I've busted my fucking ass for the last 10 years working like a nut to buy all this shit, okay? So 2.5%, but let's say 5, all right? So if you're somebody that deadlifts 700 fucking pounds, you load that bar up with 700 pounds of weight, it might be 5% above or below that. What's 5% on 700? Five times seven. I'm a little fucking irritated, I can't quite think right now, but it's 35 pounds. So it might be 735, it might be 665, depending, right? That's off, that makes a difference. 5% don't fucking matter on 200 fucking pounds. 5% don't matter, you ain't gonna feel the fucking difference reason why calibrated plates make a fucking difference is when you're holding that bar, right? The York plates are fucking thick. So if I have eight fucking biscuits on the side of each barbell, it's going to be way the fuck out on the outside of the bar, okay? So you're going to feel that. It's a different apparatus. It's a different feel. But only when you got fucking six, six or more biscuits on each side. You got fucking two. It don't make a fucking difference. And with a deadlift, okay? When you start deadlifting six, seven, eight hundred pounds, that bar flexes. So if you think about it, that bar flexes. The plates on the inside are gonna come off the ground before the plates on the outside do because it's this fucking wide, right? So calibrated plates are tight. So they all come off the ground at the same time. But only if you're lifting 800 fucking pounds. If you're deadlifting three, it doesn't fucking matter what you use. Just do the goddamn deadlift. And I know you spend a lot of time in your mom's basement jerking off behind your fucking computer watching YouTube videos and you probably already know all this, okay? What you don't know and what you need to know is it doesn't fucking apply to you yet. Cut the shit with the shit with the fucking sets of one, three, and five and do sets of eight, 10, and fucking 20. Stop using some trumped up RPE scale, try and monitor your fatigue and how challenging it says. You have no idea what a fucking 10 is. You don't even know what a fucking six is. You don't even know what a five is, all right? Work fucking hard. High rep sets, build some goddamn muscle. Cut the shit with the pre-workout donuts that you're too goddamn fat to leverage as energy that just gets stored as more fucking fat. Fix your fucking diet, burn some goddamn fat, build some fucking muscle for five fucking years, then hit up an online idiot for a template program that you might actually be able to benefit from. And stop standing around my fucking gym, waiting for that one barbell that you think you fucking need. Stop standing there, staring at the guy in the competition bench because you won't bench out of a fucking rack because you think you need to be so fucking sports specific. No one's that good. You know what the strongest people don't give a fuck about? All the shit that you obsess over. They're busy fucking grinding. You ain't fooling me, motherfucker. All you're doing is making excuses to do less work. Because you don't want to fucking work hard. You don't like the fucking pain. You don't like to be uncomfortable. So you pretend that you've accumulated too much fatigue over the last two weeks of your pussy fucking program to keep fucking working hard. And it's a lie. Stop lying to yourself. You ain't never gonna get anywhere, man. Let's work.